Today we are going to solve the best chess puzzle ever composed. It's white to play and checkmate the black king in just one move. Please pause the video and think logically how can the black king be checkmated in just one move. Let's analyze the possible moves of white one by one. Starting with the queen first. Queen can either capture the pawn on g6 square or it can give a check from f6 square. If queen takes g6 then simply pawn takes g6. If queen f6 check then black king can capture the knight on h6. So there is no checkmate with the queen. Now the rook on b7 can capture the f7 pawn to give a check. But the black king can be placed on h8 square. If the rook on f1 captures the pawn on f7, then also black king can be placed on h8. Now, the knight on h6 can jump to f5 to give a check. But the black king can now be moved to g8 or h8 square. So there is no checkmate in one. The knight on g3 square can give a check from f5 or h5 square. But the black king can simply move to h8 square. So again there is no checkmate in one. Moving on to the bishops. The light squared bishop on c2 cannot give any immediate check to the black's king. However, the dark squared bishop on b2 can capture the pawn on e5 to give a check. But then it will be recaptured by the d6 pawn. So we have covered all the possibilities from the white side with no success. And here comes the challenge to think outside the box. So we have to solve this puzzle with some special rule in chess. One special rule of chess is castling. But the white king is already castled and that's not going to help us. Another special rule is a pawn promotion on the 8th rank. Even the pawn promotion is not feasible in this case. There is one more special rule in chess called as en passant rule. It's a special pawn capture that allows a pawn to capture the enemy pawn if it moves two ranks forward from its starting position. For example, if black plays pawn to e5, then white has a chance to capture this pawn by playing pawn to e6. If white wants to capture this pawn, it has to be immediately captured in this move. Else, white will not have the privileges to capturing this pawn in the subsequent moves. Coming back to the puzzle. Now you can figure out what was the black's last move which might have created scope for en passant rule. So black's previous move was pawn to e5. And white has a chance to play en passant by capturing the e5 pawn with the d5 pawn and placing this pawn on e6 square. As the white pawn captures the black pawn, the dark squared bishop of white gives a check to the black king. Now black king has no escape. The pawn on f7 can't be moved because of this rook pin. Now it's a checkmate which happened in just one move. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these brain teasers. Also check out interview riddles on my channel Logically Yours.